Brooke with Kelly Quill Keepers. And today we are going to be sexing my Celadon Rosetta uh, Tibetan Tuxedo. They're a mix, but we're going to be separating them today. Um, been sexing, and then any of them that I see crowing, I'm just going to take them out. And I got my hutch over here. And this is what I'm going to be putting my extra ruse in until I can find a home for them. Or else, I don't know, give them to the falconry. But I really want to rehome them so that somebody's able to uh, get the C gene into their line. You know, there's a lot of people out there that are uh, wanting to get into the Celadon. So that's what we're doing today. Okay, here's another example of a hen. So I'm gonna flip her over. I'm gonna hold her feet. And hopefully you guys can see there. See how moist? But when it's flat, there's a long slit there, okay? But she's super moist. And uh, that's a very healthy, um, mature female and she's obviously laying right now so all right you guys here's our roo I'm gonna flip them over okay I'll show you oh my goodness see that big bulb the big bulb right there Let's press on it and see what it does. See that? That's his foam. So whenever you see that big bulb on the end of the tail feathers, that's a good indication. It's not a big elongated slit uh, with a larger opening. You press gently, see that foam? That's your meal. It's your roo roo. Okay, the womp. This is another go to tool. My little fishing uh, net because this cage is a little bit too long for me and too deep. So I'll just use that and then I can uh, catch them easily. Well, so I uh, sexed them all, and I came out with 16 hens, and these are my hens, super peony, and uh, so I'm going to go ahead and weigh out those males, and because I have 16 hens, I'm going to use four males, so I'm going to go ahead and separate out the four males with the most tuxedo and the heaviest weight and uh, check their legs and their eyes and their beak and all that and see, make sure they're healthy and uh, go from there. Alright, I got them in the hutch. Here's all my roos. They're super happy. Nice little dust bath. I got seven roosters, so what I'm going to do with these guys is I like to pick the ones with the most tuxedo because that's kind of what I'm aiming for is to have uh, more white uh, throughout their plumage and, and feathers. So I'm going to pick the whites. Well, they already look pretty large, but I'm going to weigh them all of course and i'm going to choose the biggest ruse um and the ones with the most white obviously this one's going to be a keeper here so that's going to be my process is uh weighing them out and keeping the heaviest and uh integrating them with my hands